Hey guys and welcome to a first look at Lens Island. Lens Island came to early access a little bit ago. We played the demo actually, but now after letting it cook a little bit in early access, we're gonna have a look at it. Lens Island is an open world survival crafting base building exploration dungeon crawling game, which should be very interesting. So we're gonna have a look. I hope you guys are gonna have a good time. Let's get started. How do you control Len? I played the demo with the mouse, but I prefer the game actually played with WASD. So we're gonna stick to that. Where is Len from? Jaro Island Zen? Got a uh, city. I, I, I got hinterlands. Yes, there you go. The hinterlands are always good. What is Len's facial type? Masculine. Let's go. Does Len wear shoes? No, or definitely not. Hmm. Well, I'd rather not. Okay, we have different hair colors that we can select here. Oh, look at that. We actually have different haircuts. I didn't even see that. I only saw the different colors. Let's go with a, with a nice, sharp looking short haircut. Oh, very sophisticated. No, I think he's stranded. You know, he was working maybe on a ship. I don't know if that's the story, but it is in my head. So we're going to go with something like that. Oh, look at that. Nice. You can save and sleep. So that's how we start. Very good. Managing your hotbar and backpack. Drag unlocked items onto your hotbar. Any unequipped hotbar items are automatically sent back to your chest for storage. All of your resources are accessible from your backpack at any time and do not require storage. I love it. Equip food items by dragging them directly from your backpack to your hotbar. All right. Time each attack to trigger a critical hit for more damage. You can deal more damage timing your hits instead of holding down your outer hit. Time your next swing when you see the critical hit expanding. Click during the crit window to trigger a critical hit. So that is a really cool feature. I really like that in the game. So if you do left click, left click, I didn't manage to do it now, but if I, for example, go to chop that tree, there we go. You get extra damage. And when you do that with a weapon in your hand, when you do combat, he does multiple different attacks, which is really, really awesome. Let's explore the island a little bit. What do we have here? Oh, look at that. We've got some berries. So let's see what our storage looks like. So we have resources here. And yeah, the resource is capped at 150. I don't know if you can raise that uh, by any chance, but you can collect basically as many resources as you want until you hit that cap. And then I think after that, they just fall on the floor and they stay there. So the same here for all the food. And then here's our building menu which is actually pretty awesome. There's a lot of things you can do. You can unlock more um, different shapes, different type of materials, wood, stone, or ornate. And then here you have for gardening, things still unlock. We have like a well, and then we have a farm. And then we have some decorations or storage facilities and workstations. Very good. And here we have, yeah, some storage and um, some furniture. Very, very nice. And when you press shift, you have a dodge which is awesome. <laughs> so you can see down there on the bottom left, you have your shift and it has a cooldown. Okay, let's get more berries. We definitely want to make sure we have enough food. And can we turn the camera actually? It doesn't seem, no, it doesn't look like we can turn the camera. And zoom in and out is not a thing either. So it's just, that's it, fixed angle. Oh, that looks like clay or something. That is clay indeed. And we got some glass from this as well. Very nice. There's a barrel in the water. Can we smash it? Sweet. What do we get from it? Scrap? Bridgewater town. Oh, that goes into a town. Limestone and stone. Well, there would be a first task for us to set out on. Trying to collect enough stone and clay to get that bridge working. That would be pretty awesome. Okay, this is clay. So this must be lime. What do we get? Limestone, very nice. Oh, these yellow flowers are also a resource. What are they? They are marigold. And I think this here is now our stone. Get a little bit closer. So this is normal rock. It should give us, yeah, stone. There we go. 26 stone, we should get 80 very quickly. Oh, look at that, there's a bridge here. What do we need for that? Okay, there's a lot of trees here and fiber, I guess, we get from grass. Oh! There's bees in the tree! <laughs> okay, it looks like we have all the resources we need, so let's repair that. Oh, that looks awesome. And another bridge. All right, let's get a little bit more. There's a lot of resources here in this game. I'm very much a big fan of a lot of resources different types of resources. 
All right, we're full on wood. Let's head over and see if we can repair this. Wow. I love the way this... Oh, look at that. That could be our base. Oh, I love it. Let's check that out. We have some barrels here. Let's see what we have in them. Some more scrap. Oh, and it has an upstairs and everything. Oh, this is something we could use to build. Yeah, I definitely think we should look at utilizing this place. Let's go into the build mode. Let's see if we can do any um, ceilings here. Oh, in the build mode you can actually change the camera. I like that. That's nice. Okay, we can't cover this room though. So can we make an extra wall? Oh, we can. Here. Here. It gets very dark as well now, so let's see if we can actually make a bed or something. There we go. Let's see if we can sleep in it. We saved. And we can sleep. Awesome. I think we're missing a wall here though as well. Let's put a window there. Why not? Excellent. And here as well. Can we destroy things as well? I think we can. Press F. And F allows you to go into the edit mode. How do we destroy things? Oh, recycle item. Nice. Oh, we can upgrade them as well to an ornate wall. Mm. So let's actually see if we can upgrade that to an ornate wall. Oh, that looks awesome. I like that. That arch, we can actually remove the arch so that we have just the wall here. So we can actually edit and remove the existing building as well. <gasps> that is amazing. So the game also has a screenshot mode if you click on this and you can have different levels to be visible. So if you go just on the ground floor, that is not visible. I like that, that is pretty awesome. And then we can turn the camera. So I, I suppose land is the mid focal point. Oh, we can move it up. Move it around. Let's make a test screenshot of that. We actually do have some red flowers here, I think. Yes. They're roses, are they? Roses, yeah. Oh, I didn't eat. My, my hunger was down. It actually started attacking my health. Well, we, we're already a full day underway and I haven't eaten. So, yeah, that's understandable. Okay, so, oh, look at that. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, we can swim as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's another island. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Oh, wow. I thought, oh, I thought we only had monsters in um, the dungeons. They have outside world monsters now. Oh my God. Okay, so far we didn't get hit. Okay, let's do it. Come on, you can do it. It's a big, slow monster. Okay, it hit us once. It doesn't hit too hard. Oh, I have no idea what its health points are for. All I know, it's uh, 120 health points. Come on, there we go. Yeah, I couldn't do that with the mouse. I need to do that with the keyboard. Come on, baby. I want to see... Oh, he's dead. Oh, we got two of those. That was some fight. I love it. Okay, let's have a look. There's another big boy over there. There's a chest as well. Here we go, we get some more, come with some more metal. Open the chest. Oh, we get some coin. I don't actually know what the coins are for. Poss possibly a trader. I think in the demo they had a trader. Okay, let's take on the big boy. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. We got him. Okay, let's open the chest and have a look what that big obelisk in the middle is. We interact with it somehow. Building mode. Can we take it apart? No. Maybe later on we can find tools or something to interact with that. Maybe it will be like a thing where you activate all the cliffs around all the islands to escape it or something. Oh, we have a little lake here. I'm actually very close to my house. I'm just going back because it's dropping night time and I'm actually out of food. I'm gonna have to look for berries. So we're gonna have to start putting a farm up probably. Actually, can we eat any of the other things we found? All the food stuff is here on the left and I don't think we can eat any of it. Yeah, so if we find some berries, we should probably try to see if we can make a farm or something. All right, we cleared a little bit of room here and let's see if we can make a little farm. And yeah, let's just leave one. So, okay, so we have to have things in our hand, I guess. There we go, to plant them. We're not gonna be able to do that, but we can also make a stone well. I guess that will give us some water, maybe. Maybe get rid of the tree and then put the well here. Yeah, I don't think we can pick it up. Okay, so we need some a bucket or something we can probably have in our hand. Oh, we found some more berries, so we're not gonna starve completely to death. Um, but we should plant some of them. And what is this? Look at this, we have a house here. So we could clean this up and actually make um, this a better location for our house. Oh, what is this? We followed the orders. The bridges have been destroyed and the second cave entrance demolished. We will be heading back early in the morning. Oh, so the bridges were destroyed on purpose. I see. I think where we are right now in the north of the island or northeast is very good for us to get a quick sleep in, but maybe starting to build something bigger here would probably be wiser. There's a lot more room. Can I interact with that? Oh, look at that. Oh, we don't have coal. Okay. Oh. Oh, we must have had some coal on us. Okay. Well, let's check it out and see where this bridge goes. Oh, look at it. Look, we're in a town. Nice. Welcome to the town of Bridgewater. I love it. Oh, look at that. Can I steal all that stuff? Oh, yes. I love it. Can I steal that? I mean, borrow? No, I can't. <laughs> what a pity. Hang on. Can we go into destroy mode and take all the houses apart? No, we can't. Mayor Gerald. Hello, traveler. I'm just passing through, thanks. What is this place? This is Bridgewater Traveler. My name is Gerald. I'm the mayor of this corner of the world. If you're settling on the island, beware of the darkness that lurks beneath. Many travelers have come to the island in search of its power. Few ever returned. This town is built by travelers such as yourself seeking new beginnings and the island is a paradise for those who dare to live on it. Just be careful, my friend. Oh, oh can we have our own boat at some point? That would be amazing. Oh, there's loads. Oh, what is this? Hi, friend. Ashley. Okay, she looks very unearthly, but then again, we have demons and monsters, so that's not abnormal, I guess. She looks like an elf, I guess. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, for 10 gold, we can buy roses. Or we can sell for 5 gold roses. Oh, no, thank you for now. Same for marigold and same for lavender. Okay, this is a tailor. Backpacks, clothes, and magic. Oh, hello. Oh, Dark Essences. Yeah, I'm not gonna sell them because I know in the demo we were able to craft with that. Oh, look. Nice. And a backpack. <gasps> Increase inventory slots to 250. Increase hotbar slots to five. Oh, 75 gold. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. My dear lady, I would like to sell my marigold and I would like to sell my roses, please. Oh, lavender. Let's sell that as well. Oh, what is this? Oh, come on. We have to have our own ship here at some point. That would be just too awesome. A blacksmith. Oh, what is this? <gasps> we can buy a refined mace to smack somebody across the face. We don't have anything right now. <laughs> 
Oh, coal. We can buy some coal. Oh, salvage. We could sell some of that. That will give us some money. And then we have scrap iron here. So this is where we can buy and sell resources. Okay, I still have to find the food though. Here we go. Farmer's market. Yes. Please give me something. Steph, I'm starving. Some bread? Buy one for eight. As much as I would like a bigger backpack, it's not a priority. So I think what we should probably do is um, buy some berries. And then buy... Oh, bread is very expensive. Why is bread so expensive? Let me see. If I eat one bread, will it fill me up a lot? Keeps me full for longer. Okay. Oh, wow. Actually, it did fill up pretty well so we're gonna buy another one and we're going to eat that as well oh look at that so we can see what damage we can do that's awesome oh yes we're now we're rocking and rolling okay before we go to bed let's plant our 30 plant all do we plant them all oh, okay I actually think we did just plant them all. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, I noticed that we can actually craft a workbench. So, I don't know if the workbench has to be outside or indoors or what. I think it has to be indoors. Look at that. We can just place it up here. Okay, let's go a little bit closer. And can we still build a wall? No. Okay, so let's move this. And you get all the items back. I really love this. So let's build a wall there first. Okay, so let's um, go back in here and let's make the workbench available to us. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we can build other things. That is awesome. Or we can unlock them or something, is it? You can learn them. Okay. Oh, and here we go. Now I have a refinery and we have a fireplace. Oh, that is nice. And here we have some weapons available to us now. Oh, sweet. Ooh, adventurous torch. That would probably be good if we get some coal and some more fiber. Um, hitting rocks, we get randomly a little bit of coal and sometimes randomly you can get a little bit of iron. And then this is our item collection where we can drag and drop, I guess, everything. Oh, this is if you have full sets crafted. That is really nice. I like that. That encourages you to actually, even if you don't use them, it encourages you to craft everything, try it out maybe, but then get a set bonus uh, when you have it all crafted. That is nice. A basic watering can. Stun it. Can, can for watering your crops hold to use? Yeah, I think we definitely should um, smack some rocks and get some more resources so we can get that um, watering can and the torch it also looks like resources grow back because these trees here i actually chopped most of these trees down yeah even the berry bushes th these ones i definitely chopped down because this was the rock nearby the coast where i took the stone out and it's also respawning that is brilliant okay i think we're getting closer to the other side of the island there's a cliff oh what is this <gasps> i wonder if these cliffs or something correspond with the ones where we fought the monster? Yeah, I can't wait to figure all this out. This is actually pretty amazing. I really like this game. It reminds me a lot from the way it feels and plays and also is enjoyable um, when you play, when you smash things, the combat is so far very enjoyable. It's It just feels right. A little bit of dismantle. Uh, it's just, it just is a lot of fun. Okay, we didn't get any more coal, but if we can find a cave, then we could quickly dip in and out of the cave to get some coal. So we're definitely on the other side of the island now. Oh, is that a boat we can fix? Oh, that would have been nice. Let's have a look around here. Maybe go back a little bit more towards our base. I suppose you could have multiple little houses with a bed. So no matter where you are, at which part of the island, you can just lie down and have a quick nap. Yeah, and here's the outermost peak of um, the island on the northwest. And there is another island over there. I mean, let's just swim across. Why not? Let's see what we have there. Okay, it's another nice big island. 
You don't see any monsters on it. Oh! We have a little half here. Hang on a second, where does that go? <gasps> Pirate's Island! Ooh. Oh, yeah, here we have a jumping puzzle, I think. got some money love it and oh can we get across here oh that would have been nice oh, maybe we can build okay I love this I, I really love this We made it. We made it to the flag. Not that we do anything specific here. I don't know. It's not something we can destroy or anyway. So we can take all this apart, which is awesome. It gives us all the resources back. Look at that. Nice. That's a very quick way of getting resources. Whoa. We're back at the island that we swam over. And look at this. This is the entrance they said there destroyed we were so close to the cave this is where we were at some point and if we would have walked a little bit further to the right here look at that so this is the entrance that hasn't been closed let's go in and check it out now we don't have lights which is what we're here for we're here for coal and for iron so let's have a look what do we have here Oh, there's a knife right here. Oh, wow, it's a tool chest. I love this. It's right here, making things easy for you in case you didn't have them on your toolbar. That's really nice. Okay, you're gonna get all the scrap, of course, from the uh, from the barrels. And I think this here is coal or iron. It's definitely one of the two. Excellent. We got some nice coal now and we are maxed on stone anyway, so we won't be picking up anymore. This looks more like metal. And that gave us um, five shards. Beautiful. And a few more. So this is just stone. We're going to have a little look around here. We're not going too deep because... Oh, we're not going too deep because we need the light. Use air rolls to jump over long distances. Oh, okay. So I always do that when I go into caves. There's a light here. We could turn the light on, I guess. I mean, I'm expecting to find more coal here. Oh, nice. Look at that. We got water. And what is that? There's like a whole thing going up here. Let's see if we can find any more mining nodes. Oh, there's one more here. That's more stone. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he only does six. Oh, he, did you see him dodge? Oh my god. Did you see him dodge? That was amazing. I love this. I'm barefoot, running around. Excellent. And this is coal. Okay, okay, okay. We're a little bit hurt. Oh, we heal up actually eating. Oh, that's sweet. I love it the way he dodges backwards. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, I still got some food. What is that? It's a oh, this is a nest. Oh, we destroyed the nest. It's very dark in this corner. I would love to see what is actually there. Listen to that. Okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Because we're running low on food. Yeah, these guys shouldn't be a problem. Nice. Yes, I, l I love the combat in this. 
Oh, this is more iron. Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Sorry, I could have made more light, but I really just didn't want to waste any more of the coal and iron. I mean, if you look at this, we got 11 iron, we got 19 coal, and yeah, we're gonna have to come back here with uh, a torch. Nice. <gasps> oh, we got some fruits. Oh, that's awesome. Some raspberries or something. Okay, let's see if we got more of those. Yeah, we did. Okay, I think we can get that little list. Okay. I enjoyed that very much. So how much did we get in total? We got 19 coal and 20 iron. Yeah, before we get into weapons, let's do the watering can. Let's craft. There we go. And let's craft the torch. Nice. Harvest your crops with one big swing, and it has some special attacks as well. But is it a one-hander or a two-hander? It looks like a two-hander. Let's craft it. Why not? Okay, let's put that watering can in here. <gasps> Look at our farm. It's getting all wet now. That is amazing. And then can we fill it up here? You can see it's about half empty. Yes, and that's where we fill it up. Love it. Oh, it's already growing. Look at that. A fresh sprouting blueberry plant. And what else did we get? Grapes. A bunch of grapes picked from a grapevine. Oh, let's see if we can make another farming plot and then put the grape grapevines there. And we're going to... Oh, can we not plant the grapes? Maybe grapes have to be going into a different type of um, planter. Well, let's have a look and see what else we can actually learn. Um, we have the refinery here for 10 scrap. How much scrap do we have? 70. Okay. And then for another 10 scrap, the fireplace. Keeps you warm and cozy while filling the room with the smell of freshly baked bread. Oh, can we bake in that? Okay, let's learn it. So why do we can learn a garden bed if we already know how to make a garden? Oh, this is a big farming area. Okay, sure. Oh, they don't, I can't place them anywhere. Oh, you place them indoors. Oh, I see. So just for testing it out, I would say, can we place one here and see what we can, yeah, let's do that and then see what we can put in it. Okay, the roses, the marigold. Maybe it would be good to have like one of those full of roses or marigold, like one of those outside or inside ones just to make money. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of it. And oh, look at that. Nice, we can upgrade it. I'm gonna get rid of it because this is not where I want to live. I'm just trying a few things out here and I want to actually go into the forest where that shed is. And right there in that shed, I want to destroy that shed and make like a bigger place where we can do all the proper building and everything. We don't have the resources for the refinery, but we have the resources for the fireplace. I wonder if you can put wood in the fireplace and make coal. Let me check that out. So let's put some wood in here. Let's see what happens. We can put flour here if we have it, which we don't. And then mix bread, but can we get coal maybe in here as a side product? No. All right, back to my flower bed. We're gonna plant all the roses here. And we're gonna plant all the marigold, actually all the lavender. There we go. Nice, I love it. <gasps> I think they're ready. Small berries are starting to grow. However, they are much too small and sour to eat just yet. Oh, we have to wait a little longer. Oh, I'm just exploring the beach a little bit while I'm waiting for our berries to grow and just a little bit south of where we actually started. On this side, there is a little, I don't know what it is, a harbor or something? Once the perfect residence for an experienced fisher hasn't been lived in for many years. With some love and care, this shack could be home to a fishing friend one day. Okay, we can't remove any of the items. Okay, so maybe we can repair it at a later stage in the game. Oh, we might get an NPC then here with a maybe even a boat that we can travel on. I don't know, but um, let's get rid of the barrel. Or it could be something that's not in the game yet, seeing this is early access. All right, let's check out something. <laughs> let's save first, just in case. Okay. I did a quick save. 
and I'm just going to swim out into the ocean and see if we can find another island or if I'm gonna drown. There's no stamina going down. Okay. <gasps> no! Lonely Island? What? What is this? <gasps> oh my balls. The weapon once used by Captain Marlin. One day he left the pirate bar never to be seen again. Oh my balls. This is an absolute awesome upgrade of a sword. <gasps> okay, and what do we have here? Q and E? I don't know where we can see what these actions are. I just know Q. Okay. An E. Oh, nice. That's like a backslash behind us. Like a 360. Okay, where are we going? I have no idea. How are we going to get back to the island? Okay, is this our island or is this some strange island now? That I'm on. <gasps> Pirate Island. I know where we are. We literally just head down here. That is awesome. Was that island there the whole time? Well, we're gonna go right back in there and see and test out that new sword of ours. And put the torch... Actually, you know what? Let's put the pickaxe here and put the torch here. Excellent. And do we have some room for rocks? We do. Might as well get that rock. Okay, so when we're mining, we can't have the torch in our hand. Oh, this light is still on. I like it. So once it's lit, it's lit. Okay. <gasps> they die so fast now. Awesome. Oh, let's try our special attack out. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a nest. I love it. Oh, ho, 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 he's a big boy. <gasps> nice. Okay, we have a problem. There's too many spawners. Oh! <laughs> oh, we're nearly dead. Okay, I think we better go. If we want to make it out alive, we better go. <sighs> nice, I love it. I seem to be healing a little over time, which is awesome. So we check out a little bit more of the cave on the way home. Okay, we are out of health. We're out of health. Very little health left. We better go. Okay, that's it. We're calling it now. <laughs> that is it. All right, let's see if we can harvest our berries. Small berries starting to grow. However, oh, do we need to water them again? Is that is that it? Yeah, we have to water them again. Oh, I can hear tingle. Blueberries grown to perfection and ready to harvest. Pick them quickly. Okay, hang on a second. I want to pick them quickly, but I want to do this. I want to test our scythe. Oh. Oh, nice. That is awesome. We were able to do that with our scythe. 
Now let's see how many berries we got. 19 berries. Okay, so if we reseed the berries now. There we go, we made 10 profit. Okay, we are now able to craft the refinery and I wanna see if we can make some metal from scrap or something like so, because going constantly into a cave might not be the best uh, idea either. So can we destroy this? Thank you. And are we able to place the refinery there? There we go. Let's check it out. Fuel. Input. Oh, stone. Let me see. Five wood and ten stone. So let's see how that works. So it's one and a half wood per... Oh, look at that. We get metal from that. That is awesome. Lime will give us glass and clay. What is clay giving us here? Let's just check that out. What is that? Precious gems? No way, you're kidding. Takes a lot longer. Is that stuff we just sell? This gems, that would be awesome. They go straight now into our inventory. Let that run away while we do our thing. And then hopefully we're gonna get enough together so we can upgrade our workstation to the next level and see what else we can unlock because we want to make better weapons and stronger weapons and then go back into that cave and destroy every single monster in there that we can. And I want to figure out how to make bread. It said something about making wheat from a windmill. So that's a lot of stuff we have to figure out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. That was amazing. We had a really good look at a lot of the features and some of the crafting and the base building and the exploration and the monsters and the islands. I think we had a good look, but I want to figure out a little bit more about the game, especially more of the advanced crafting, um, like I said, with the windmills and food, because berries is obviously not all that can live off. So I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a good time with the episode. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the box, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, switch pass and happy gaming.